What's up YouTube? This your boy Eric Hito coming back again with another tutorial. Uh, this time what we're doing is shortcut video editor. It is free. All you need to do is download it to your computer. It's not shortcut as your keyboard for your computers. No, that's not what it is. It's video editing and it is free. You can own the whole thing on your computer, no monthly pay all good and you'll be up and running making awesome videos so these five segments episodes will it's for beginners it'll be from uploading your first video clip editing text and audio to exporting the video to youtube vimeo or whatever you feel like what up everybody we back at it again for part two uh, on this five episode series on shortcut for beginners um if you missed the first part uh what we did is basically we look at the folks who came up with the program itself uh so the software so and then we checked out uh some of the basic things like uh this here is the source window and that is the project window and down here we have the uh we have the tracks. So at this stage, what we do have is we uploaded these two videos onto the track. If you missed that part, you need to go back and watch again. Um, but I don't mind to explain. So we're in, we're doing it. Yeah. Okay. So on this particular uh, second video, what we're going to do is look at some of the most common uh, tools that you'll be using. So say for example, I already uploaded these videos, you missed that part and I wanted you to see how I did that. And then I say, for example, maybe I'm working on a video and I feel like as if I uploaded the wrong one and uh, I wanna get rid of them. There's many ways I can go about that. Okay, there is many ways I can go about that. One common way, uh, just to avoid deleting at all times, I can, we can use the undo button. There's an undo button down up here. You can see the undo. If I click that, I get rid of the last video I uploaded. <clears throat> if I click that as well, I basically get rid of them. So, but if I wanna redo, I click that, it's back. So let's say I get it out of there and then I just want to upload. You can go from here straight away, uh, straight on to the track, or you can, again, double click. So you can have it on the project. You look at it, you screen it, you think it's good, that's the right one. Okay, so you can take it, grab it, drop it down here. Now you have it down here. As you can see, there's a little gap there, so you can push it to the start. No problem. The second thing tool I want to look into is, right now the video is too long, so I'm thinking I want to, make, I want to be able to see the start and the end. That minus uh, button there, it's a zoom out. And that button there, the plus, it's a zoom in. So in this case, I want this to be small enough for me to be able to see the start and the end. I can either click here on this line, it's a zoom line. You see that, it makes it smaller. And if I click on the plus, I zoom in, zoom in to my satisfaction. So we took this clip here on the track. We took it from the project uh, screen. You could actually not only go that way, you can drag from here. So I'm gonna take the yellow top and drag it and place it next to it, okay? So now you have it. They're both here, they're both, you know, small enough for me to see. Okay, now once again, you have this button here. It's, uh, this is a normal play uh, options you will have on any video player, okay? You know, back in the days, they used to, you know, we used to play cassettes and you will have that actually as the button, literally, literally a button that you can press. <laughs> Yay, boy. Okay, so basically, um, 
you play from here. Now I'm playing it from the track. It's playing uh, using the uh, project monitor, okay? This is the project on the track and that's the monitor of the project. If I'm screening what I have here, what sort of videos I have, I will be using, if I double click, and if I see it here, it becomes a screen for the source. And that's why you have here source and project. Right now, we're playing the project because it's on the time, it's on the tracks, okay? The timeline, the tracks. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. And then I'm gonna move it to the next track. If you click, it actually moves from one track to another, okay? It will also, if I click again, it will go straight to the end. Uh, I click it again. Now you can see the marker is at the end. So let's say I want to play the middle. There you go. I press in the middle. I press play. The reaction videos. Now, as well. I don't want to play the whole thing. I don't want to listen to my, I don't want to listen to myself. So here's another option. Another thing you do, this is another tool. This one here, it's, it's a little eye that says hide. So if I click that, this video here will disappear from the project monitor. Watch this. I click that, it's gone. So now I only have this video to play, okay? I'm gonna play it and if I move it to the end, stop it first and move it to the end, you can see it's not gonna Thank show. You. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, but it's still playing the, the sound, okay? but. The video is gone. Say now I want to get rid of the sound as well. You see that? It says mute down here. You click that. Now, if I play, the sound is also gone. But don't forget, the sound, well, let me stop calling it the sound. The audio and the video, they are embedded together in this particular instance, okay? But you can still play them separately like you just witnessed. Now, when you do that, what happens is you basically, now I've locked the sound, okay? I opened up the, uh, okay, so let me go back on that. Let me bring back the video, okay? But now here's what's happening, okay? I have the sound uh, muted, so, Meaning this, this bit here, this little clip and that clip, they're all muted because they are all on the same track. Say for instance, you wanted to have them on separate tracks. So you can mute one and let the other one play. You can mute whichever way you want. So you click here. So let me bring everything back. So you can see it's showing now the, the, the sound, uh, the, 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 the audio. Click that, you see that? It disappears down here on the bottom. If you click that, it comes back. You can see the audio does exist. You can see it clearly on this one here. Let me go back. Sorry, but you have to click on it. You highlight it first. So when I click that, you can see it's much more because there is much more uh, audio going on there. Now you can see that. Let me bring everything back. So let me show you now how to bring in a new track. Again, if I don't want this here, what do I do? I can undo or I can, since I'm highlighted to it, I can right click and remove, okay? These are some of the functions you're going to need. You're gonna to need to do this as you go with your video. Very important to take notice onto that. Now, uh, before, I bring in, uh, before I bring in another, before I bring in another track, I'm just gonna bring that back again and show you something. You can see that, that is this uh, toggle snap-in. The snap-in tool, what it does is, it's like an anchor. So when you bring in the video, you're gonna have to bring it and make sure it sits next to the other one. Otherwise, it's going to overlap. So if you have that all, uh, highlighted, it will allow the other video to come and snap next to it. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna bring it. As you can see, snap. Did you see that snap? That is a snap. If I remove that, and if I was gonna bring the video, I probably was going to struggle with it. I was going to struggle with it, what it is, okay? So I'm gonna bring that back. You always have that back on. So it snaps, 
Okay, that's cool. So we don't want it. How do we do? If we don't want it, we right click and remove it. Say I don't want to do that. There is another way you can do that. It's highlighted. All I have to do now with my finger, I'm going to press, press X on the keyboard. You don't have to do Control X. Don't do that. Okay? It's just X. I press X now. So I press X, it's gone, okay? So I was having a bit of technical problems. Uh, this happens, okay? So you can press X and get rid of it. Now, uh, say I want to create another track. So right click here on the side of the track and it gives you an option. You see audio track and you can also see video track. So whether you want to put the music on it, that's, where, that's the way you go. Like if I have this one here, it says uh, social media sound. It's just, it's just the sound. It's, it's audio. That's all it is. It's not video. I will add a track there like that. But since I want to add in a video, I'll click on add video track. I click on it. The video tracks always sit on top of the other one as you go along. You can see V1 is the first video. V2 is the second video. You can actually name them. I can call that red jacket, red jacket, okay? And also I can name the other one yellow jacket. I know it. Okay, so, all right, okay. Anyways, just assume it's a yellow jacket, okay? I will go yellow jacket. All right, so now what do we have? We have, I've prepared a track here for red jacket and the track here for yellow jacket. Now, always name your tracks after you've prepared them together. So you can actually see me making that mistake right now. And this is a mistake you can also make. But say for example, now I have that problem, I need to fix it. Here's what you can do. You can hold on to this track and shift it to the top. Now the red jacket is aligned with the track called red jacket. Now I can take the yellow jacket and bring it down to the yellow track. It's a little bit, uh, you know, I have to make sure you can see that. So now I have the yellow jacket on the, onto the yellow track and the red jacket on to the red Truck, uh, uh, red jacket truck. Now, if you play from the start, as you can see, whenever you move, the cursor here moves from the start or to the end of each truck. So now it's showing me that there is another truck here. So if I want to start from the beginning, there you go. I'm at the start. So if I play these two tracks here, they will overlay and watch this. Hey, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. They're both playing, but the one down below is not showing. So what do you do in that case? You want to mute it altogether because there's no point. It's not showing. Again, the reason I keep going back to this point here is to get you to understand that you will have to face this as you go every now and then. Only the top video will play. Even if I have this highlight highlighted, Watch this. If I play, it doesn't matter which one is highlighted. Okay? So if you are like the top, it does not make it any better because, to be honest, the other track is down below. That's why I don't want this track here. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this and join it with the other. It clicks. The reason it clicks is because I have that snapping tool you know, uh, on, it is on. When it's highlighted like that, it is on. Okay, so I don't really need this anymore. What do I do? I can get rid of it. Okay, right click and remove track. It's gone. Now I have both tracks together. What do I do here? I can rename them. But this time I'm gonna say red jacket and yellow. Now I know I have both there, okay? 
Red jacket and yellow. Okay, so it's only showing half of it. That's fine. Okay, so anyways, I think, oh no. You have to tap them all together, I guess. Red and yellow. There you go. So now I have red and yellow on one track. This is some of the things that you will have to be doing at all times. You understand the play buttons here? You understand that? We've already gone through that. We've already spoken about the, uh, the zoom. So now you understand what it is with the zoom. You understand what that is. But now let's look into the split button. The split button is the one that cuts the video. Say for example, this one is too long. Let's say, I think this one is way longer. So I go here, up to here, uh, maybe up to here, it's too long. I go up to here and I wanna get rid of it. Now if you click on that, that looks a split, that looks like a book, yeah? If you click on it, where the cursor is, that's where you actually uh, cut the, the video, the clip. But I can do that way, or again, I can use my finger and press the S uh, button on my keyboard. Not Control S, just the S button. To get rid of it, I'm going to highlight it because it's this one, I, I think it's too long. Now I'm gonna split it, I'm gonna click using the S button, not the Control S, but just S button on the keyboard. I click on that, you can see it's split up. Now I can decide whether it's this part I want to get rid of or the second part. So since I have this highlighted, let me just get rid of this, okay? So I can either right click and remove or because it's highlighted, I can I move the cursor in, between, in, the, in the middle. I can also press the X button not control X, just X, it's gone. Say, for example, I wanna do this here as well. Okay, so I highlight it first. I put the cursor where I think that's what I wanna do it before we use the shortcut S to split. Now I'm gonna click on the actual uh, split button. I click on it, it splits. Now I wanna get rid of this. Instead of me clicking on the X on, the, on my keyboard, not Control X, just X, if I click on that, I'm gonna get rid of that. But instead of doing that, let's just use the buttons we have. Uh, let's just use another way we can go about it, which is right click and remove. It's gone, all right? So those are the two ways you can do this. So guys, we're gonna leave it here. This is, uh, we're gonna take a little break. And then when we get back, we are going to look into effects and text editing, all right? And uh, with that, we, in terms of effects, we're gonna we use all these other tools here so you can see how that works, all right? But in terms of just adding, slapping videos together, this is it, this is it. And then you can just export it, all right? Uh, you can just export it. But at this stage, we are not there yet. So we will come back. So make sure you uh, subscribe. So when that video is on, you can actually get to be the first one to see and watch. Um, if you haven't seen the first uh, episode, the first uh, video we did on introduction and how to upload the clips, the video clips, uh, go back on it, you know, it's all on the channel. Go back and watch that and uh, come back, watch this second part, and then we can move into text editing, okay? Please subscribe and share the video. Let's share the knowledge, okay? Thank you, see you in a moment. <laughs>